Hi everyone, and welcome to the Gizmo Breaker Gaming Channel. My name is Oscar, and I'll be your Gizmo Breaker today. Today we're going to be breaking the Philips Ship 9500s, and we're actually going to quite literally be breaking them apart today, uh, so that we can show you how to clean the ear cups as well as the headband, because after a fair bit of use of, oh, say about a year or so, uh, there tends to be a buildup of dirt and oils on the ear cups and the headband. And instead of going out and buying new ear cups, uh, it's a simple uh, cleaning procedure that we can do to get these uh, clean and get a little more life out of them. All right, let's get into it. You filthy animal. Okay, so the first thing we're going to want to do is remove the ear cups. And the way to do that is you take, feel around in the center here, there should be, there's a hollow area up here. So you can see this, there's a hollow area up here and a firmer area right here. This should be where the plastic is and we won't damage the drivers, in theory. So let's see, we'll just grab it from the back here, go for a solid spot, pop off, you'll hear that pop. Okay, now we see that they're off back here, so that can focus there. Okay, and then now, you just have to, you can uh, find another solid spot down here do the same thing there you go so what you were feeling was actually the edge of this right here so we don't want to, yeah we're feeling this right here and here and the edge right here so you can see what's what's actually inside the um, the ear cup okay and then when you pop it back on as you can see there's four notches in the ear cup and they line up with these four tabs here so now we're going to do the same to the other ear cup you can feel around for a relatively firm area and pop just pop it off like that and then we're going to do the same thing to the bottom there I'm gonna drop them and that's it they are off okay now to pop off the headband what we're gonna do is just pop off and hope they don't break see and that's what you're dealing with it's a tab like that goes right in there actually goes right into the back of this thing so I've done this one but once before didn't break anything last time hoping I don't break anything this time because these are plastic so if you do do this it is definitely at your own risk so here we have the the headband and you can see here here are the, the cups that these pieces go into and snap into and that's it just a there's like a piece of PE board or something in there that's fine to get wet, the plastic's fine to get wet, it's not going to rust. But either way, you still want to make sure you uh, dry this as well as possible after the um, after you do the cleaning. So next we'll get into actually cleaning these. Okay, just for fun, we're going to do a little experiment here. So here we have our ear cups. And this experiment will help illustrate uh, the necessity for cleaning and we'll just put a little little weight on top of this to have it make some contact so what I have here are the two ear cups face down uh, just on a regular sheet of paper this is eight and a half by eleven whatever printer paper copier paper nothing special and then this is the headband I just put uh, a lens on top of it that yeah, lens on top of it for a little bit of weight now we are going to set a timer for 30 minutes so we'll leave the timer right here and we'll see you guys in about 30 minutes see the results
All right, so the 30 minutes are up, so we can see. And let's see what our paper has to show us. That right there. Our oil stains from your ear cups. So clearly, the ear cups do absorb some of the oils in your skin. That's gross. Okay, so next up, we're gonna wash them. Uh, so what we do for that is we're gonna take a little uh, Dawn. If you're in the States, uh, you should be able to find this at any market. Uh, if you're not, I imagine they have a similar product in the country you're from. And uh, Dawn is pretty good because it breaks up grease and it's not going to damage the fabrics too much. Alternatively, you could try a detergent, like the same type of detergent you use for your clothes. Um, but today we're going to use a little bit of Dawn. And to do this, pour in some warm water here. A little bit of Dawn. Not uh, very scientific. It's not a specific amount of Dawn that we're doing. Kind of mix it around here. Okay, we don't want to fill it too much. Maybe about like three quarters of an inch, half an inch. Because we don't want to completely soak the ear cups. Um, I've tried to stay away from getting the back sweat because th this is glue. So I try to just get the, the sponge part wet. This back part's I'm getting wet with my finger. The back part's kind of glued on there, so I'm trying to avoid that and just get the cup part wet. Put it in here, and then one thing I did want to show you you can see dust and stuff built up there, too. I don't know if you can see that. So dust is built up there. So, what we'll do is we'll kind of soak them up. I'm going to soak up some water, kind of wring them out a little bit. Do that a few times. And you can use uh, a large pot or any other large container you got. It doesn't have to be like this. I'm just using the storage bin. Yeah, I'm, I said I'm trying not to get this wet, but here I am getting it all wet. So hopefully uh, this will stick. It'll stay. It won't come off. Okay, and then this doesn't really matter too much. With this we can actually get completely wet. But uh, seems to be a little more. So we want to do the same thing, kind of like a bit like that. Probably use a larger container that fits the two, uh, the two ear cups and the headpiece together. Now, last time I did this, I had a bigger storage bin uh, that I was using, but this will have to do for the for now. This time. So just leave them in there for about 30 minutes, let them soak, and let the oils get broken up, and we'll be back in 30 minutes. So what we're going to do now is just rinse this off. As you can see, this pool in here, how cloudy and murky that water is. So that's, uh, that's a good sign. That means that the soaking of the ear cups actually made a difference. Actually broke up a lot of the oils and grease that, were, that was in there. So, start with the headband. And again, you could just do this in warm water. Just a quick note, if these things pop out like that, you can always just put them back in. It's not a big deal. You didn't break anything. See? Pop right back in. So we want to wring out as much of the 
water as we can. And just set it aside. And we'll do the same thing with these. Turn them out. So we're going to do some clean water there. Sure that's gonna be in focus. Right. Okay, so once we have them rinsed out, I'll put them face down for about. 30 minutes, kind of let the water drain out. And then after 30 minutes, I'll pull them base up so that they can dry off and uh, let them dry for overnight or uh, I don't know, four to six hours, just air dry. So it'll take a minute for them to dry. As you can see, it's already starting to drain out a lot of water. So and that's what we want. We want the water to drain out. So we'll be back in about 30 minutes. So as you can see, the whole uh, paper towel is soaked. So what we're going to do now is just leave them face up to dry somewhere. And that should be all you got to do to clean them. Next thing will be assembly, or reassembly, rather. Okay, so it's now the next day, and here we have everything dried and cleaned. So, with this, we will start a reassembly. So, right is right. So then we'll switch this around. Make sure we have these sticking out a little bit here. We'll make it easier to pop these back in. Like so. And then we'll do the same to this one. Okay, and there's these in there. Alright, so we got the headband back on. Feels nice and clean and actually a little fluffier. So we'll get the ear cups. I want to line up the holes and the uh, tabs and just pop it back into place like that. Maybe a little fluffiness there. Feels nice and clean. You can even give it a little sniff and smells even smells clean. Try smelling your Try smelling these before you clean them. They're pretty gross. So again, same thing. There's a there's a slot. Here's a tab. Line it up. I don't think these are lined up properly yet. If it doesn't, oh, see, there's that little. There's three on this side. There's three tabs on this side, so make sure you line them all up. Then probably be able to get that. There you go. Satisfying snap there. Okay. And that's it. That's how you clean your Philips Ship 9500s. Thanks a lot, guys.